UI, CL, and P, you've done such a wonderful job maintaining and providing electricity for us. We, we've not had to do without it. Yeah. And, and you, I think as consumers we sometimes forget how essential it is and how much we take it for granted. Certainly. And, and for me, my first priority is the, the safety and the concerns and, and, and the, the worries of my constituents. For example, what would be a protocol if we knew of a senior citizen or somebody who is disabled and needs electrical resources for respiratory or health reasons at, at a homestay situation. What is the process for them to be able to seek help and, 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 and a sense of urgency, as you said, in getting power back into that uh, community well, or house? From a, from a priority standpoint, we do have a listing all of our customers who have uh, critical life support. Okay. We code those customers a, se a special Wait. way so that we do know that. But we, but because of the nature of the electrical service, it's very difficult for us to be able to provide with certainty that service. So we always look for those customers to have other means of availability if our service can't be available, whether it's generators or some sort of backup power or something else like that, or other arrangements to move out of their home or their facility. Um, we, we certainly know who and where those customers are, but we've got to look at it through our overall priority because that one customer, if if we uh, deter our resources to spend days providing mm -hmm. service to that one customer, meanwhile we have a whole town out. These are the priorities that we often have to juggle. So our life safety uh, support customers, extremely important to us, but we work with them all year to keep them informed so that they can have the proper uh, precautions when unfortunate and unforeseen events like this do occur. Well, but also it goes back to the great work of our police officers mm -hmm. and firefighters and EMSs is the fact that when you have those kind of cases and, and it's, it's, it's made aware to you, you communicate with first responders to ensure that they're aware and that public safety is a first priority. Absolutely. Okay.